So as I mentioned in the previous video, you want to put together the content that you found, whether it's private labor rights content or whether it's content that you've gathered by going to article directories and pulling snippets of articles together. You want to, you know, basically in this step, be ready to put together your content onto a PowerPoint type format. So um, all my content, the PLR content I got, came in several in a batch there. It was absolutely free for this niche market. So I did a keyword search for my niche market and then the word PLR articles free something like that and you know I was surprised to come up with a nice set of articles that I can use uh, for whatever purpose so uh, what I recommend you do is now go ahead and download a software program so that you can actually uh, start putting it into a PowerPoint type format and the reason you do that is because that's what we're going to be recording the video from so what I recommend you do is go out over to Google and simply type in the phrase open office now um, if you already have Microsoft PowerPoint then you can actually skip this step um, but I'm going to actually show you open office which is an absolutely free software program that functions just like most of the features in Microsoft Office and it's a very powerful program so it's called openoffice.org absolutely free so what I recommend you do is go on over here to openoffice.org and that you simply go up to where it says download I want to download open office and you just want to download that to your computer it's a very large file uh, so just be patient as that comes down to your machine um, now open office again will allow you to do a PowerPoint that's what we're going to do next is take this content that we got you know within the PLR content either you know you could purchase it but again the the main point of this is to give you free methods that you don't have to pay for um, but if you do have to purchase it it's very inexpensive you know about two or three bucks as I showed you um, two to four dollars would get you more than enough articles to use um, but in most niche markets you'll find some free PLR content that you can work with so um, that's what I've got here on my screen and so now I'm gonna take this content and I need to put it into um, the PowerPoint format um, and I could use open office or PowerPoint for that so I'm just gonna come over here to my computer and we are going to open up open office okay so that'll take just a moment okay so once that loads up open office will ask you if you want to use you know presentation wizard so I usually just use empty presentation um, for slide design I'll just go with original and then after that I'll just click on create and it's gonna create you know a very basic looking slide here so you can come up here and put together you know some options so you've got here a title slide that you could work with um, or you've got like an introduction type slide something like that um, so for this this example we've got a title slide now um, remember you've got your keyword phrase so let's just put this in here how to lose weight fast so that's just your keyword phrase would go here okay which is exactly what I've done here now the next thing you want to do is put in your website here Um, and this could be a direct link to your squeeze page. Now, for this example, my free squeeze page, you know, is forward slash free, but I also want them to go to my website. So I'm just going to put, you know, the website then forward slash free um, so that they know that if they typed in free, they could get my free gift. Okay. So that's basically what the title slide looks like. Now, you may want to do some things like bold it, um, you know, maybe make the font a little bit larger so people can see it um, and so it looks right. So let's just go over here okay and then the next thing is you can just underline that you can kind of just play around with this until you feel comfortable you know with how it looks so that's what I'm doing here and next thing you want to do is come right over here choose new slide and now you can pick a new format so I am going to go ahead and um, you know pick a different format to work with so you can come in here and choose how you want that to look. You could go with an outline type view, which is the most basic word, um, you know, for PowerPoint. And so that's what I'm going to do. So we'll put in the title again one more time, which is the keyword, how to lose weight fast. And next thing I'm going to do is take this article. Now what you can do here is reread, you know, read through the article, and let's see you know just take the points that make sense so number one is get rid of hunger so you can copy this all down
and so let's see here get rid of hunger and then maybe you can make some extra bullet points about that topic and you could even make that a sub bullet point okay so next thing that you can do is create a new slide and you can put in your keyword there and then this time let's find another point from our article so we'll just go here drink more water drink more water and then you can copy and paste that content right in there again. So this part is very, very basic. So that's all I'm doing here is just going to copy and paste in some more content. And we can just delete that batch of content out. okay and again I'm just editing out stuff so that it makes sense you know for people when they look at it okay so now I'm pretty much done with that slide so there we're up to three slides now and typically a good video article is going to be between three and five slides you know it doesn't have to be huge um, doesn't have to be extremely short you know like one slide but three to five slides is usually pretty good so um, you kinda got the picture there what I'm doing so I don't want to bore you with by doing this more um, so the last thing you want to do is create a final slide you know that basically has some sort of call to action on it so for that one um, you know we'll just choose this one with just a title on it and I'll delete that and we'll come up here and add our title now you can drag this down here and center it and then put in your website again okay next thing you want to do now that that part is done is you know make sure that it displays correctly so notice here it kinda of chopped it off some so I would want to come back here and edit that okay so once your link shows up correctly um, the next thing you can do is go ahead and get ready to record your video um, because really your video is set up for you to use it it's basically ready for you to go um, ready for you to start recording uh, because you've now created the PowerPoint now you can go in here and add animation effects and all that kind of stuff um, that's completely up to you I'm not gonna bore you by showing you how to do that um, you can look at open office or PowerPoint they'll show you how to add in animations but really for all intents and purposes this is all you need to make a video um, to put it together you just need a PowerPoint or open office you need a little bit of content that you can grab for free online um, put it together into a nice clean bullet point format and um, you know then you can do tweaking if you want like add elements to the slides you know make it add pictures all that kind of stuff uh, but you don't have to do any of those things okay so um, what I'm going to do now is go out and download another free software program so I can actually record the video which is what I'm going to do in the next um, video that we go over so for this next tool that you want to download the next step after you put your content together is you want to go out and download a tool called Cam Studio now Cam Studio is another absolutely free software program uh, that works with Windows and I'll show you what tool to use if you are on a Mac and then in the following video I'm going to show you step by step how to record this video and then we'll go into how to upload the video to really get this process rolling okay so here is cam studio uh, right here on my window and camstudio.org you just come on down here and download cam studio that's the only one you need for right now um, it's just cam studio so just right click and download that okay so there is cam studio for you if you are on a Mac computer, 
Um, there's another application that will work for you that is free. Um, and it is called Jing, J-I-N-G. It will be Jing Project. And you can just click on Mac OS X. Um, or you can go to their website first and then click on Mac. Um, but they do have Jing for Mac. It's basically a really cool tool. Um, even if you don't want to do videos with it, I have Jing on my Mac and PC computer. Um, and it actually lets you take still screenshots as well. Um, really cool screenshots. But it also, you can do short little videos um, with Jing also. So um, Jing is what that is called. Okay. So those are the two tools, Cam Studio for PC, uh, Jing if you happen to be using a Mac. And then um, those are the tools you would want to use. Um, now there are other paid tools, just so you are aware, there is one out there called Camtasia, which is another screen video program. It is rather expensive, just so you know, um, but it is an absolutely phenomenal program um, that you can use. So again, the main point of this is to help you get up and going for free or for as little money as possible. And that's why I recommend Cam Studio for starting out or Jing, because both of those are free to start out with. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you now how to go about um, recording this, this video content that we've put into PowerPoint format.